Hello, I'm Caitlin Adams, and this is your OC Metro Minute for Tuesday, December 18th. Today's Minute is brought to you by SunWest Bank. In today's Orange County Business News headlines, the Orange County Chapter of Susan G. Komen awarded $1.2 million to local community organizations at its annual Grants Award Breakfast held earlier this month at the Weston South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa. Community groups to receive grants at the event included the Laguna Beach Community Clinic, the Vietnamese American Cancer Foundation, Planned Parenthood of Orange and San Bernardino Counties, and Share Ourselves. Lisa Walter, Executive Director of Komen Orange County, also announced the launch of the chapter's year-end 3200 Mammogram Challenge, with the goal of raising funds to underwrite 3,200 mammograms. To aid in the organization's goal, the group debuted a new video featuring well-known Southern California personalities lending their talents to encourage donations that will fund mammograms and early detection programs. Be sure to watch out for our own pink tie guy, Steve Churn. And local surf, skate, and snow brand Volcom has reorganized its top leadership, appointing current CEO and chairman Richard Wolcott to the newly created role of executive chairman of the company. The firm's current president, Jason Steris, will take on the position of chief executive officer. Both will step into their new roles effective January 1st. Wolcott, along with co-founder Tucker Hall, conceived Volcom as a youth culture clothing company during a 1991 sto snowboarding trip to Tahoe. Now Wolcott says he is as passionate about the company as ever before and wants to work with Volcom's team on creative and branding efforts to explore new ways to evolve the company. And we've all known for a while now that social media is a game changer, but it sounds like the bigwigs in entertainment are starting to catch on too. Nielsen, the television viewership analytics and ratings firm, has signed an exclusive multi-year partnership to create the Nielsen Twitter TV ratings, which will provide an industry, industry standard metric for TV conversation on Twitter. The creation of this new partnership will give the television industry the most comprehensive picture of the audience that it reaches through its shows. In addition to Nielsen's existing TV ratings, which determine how many people are watching a particular show, the Nielsen Twitter TV ratings will capture the level of conversation, determining how many people are talking about and engaging with the show. Last month, Nielsen acquired Social Guide, a New York-based startup that tracks Twitter and Facebook conversations about TV and provides a TV audience analytics and engagement product. The new Twitter-based ratings will be available at the beginning of the fall 2013 TV season. And that is today's OC Metro Minute. Check ocmetro.com throughout the day for continued local business coverage, and if your company is making news, let us know. Send us an email to newsdesk at ocmetro.com. I'm Caitlin Adams. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.